Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, we have come into the presence of the Lord to study His Word. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Kind and gracious and loving Father, our Father which art in heaven, please be with us. As we study your word, open our hearts and minds. Fill us with your spirit that we may be able to understand your word. Thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you all for joining me. And, uh, and the first video that we had made. I want to thank you for the ones who sent me an email or a thumbs up saying it was wonderful. It encourages me to go forward. Welcome to the Faith of Jesus ministry. This day we are going to talk about John. John chapter 5. The story is about the invalid man or the paralyzed man at the pool of Bethesda. It's taken from John chapter 5 verses 1. I encourage you to take your Bibles and look into it. It says here, after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Second verse, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches. The interesting thing is in this pool of Bethesda let's see what uh, the scriptures tells us. Third verse in these lay a great multitude of important folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water so there was a lot of disabled people at the pool of Bethsaida they were the blind they were the lame in simple ways words the paralyzed people all were waiting at this pool they believed that the waters when it was uh, shaken anyone who jumps into that water could be healed and let's leave the fifth verse the fifth verse says and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years so there was a man at the pool for how many years 38 years he was crippled paralyzed he was not able to move around his family members gave up on him his friends gave up on him he was all alone by this pool but he had this desire that one day he too will try and go into that waters and be healed but it didn't happen let's read the next verse the sixth verse it says and Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole Jesus comes not to any person there were many disabled people there were many blind people there were many lame people. There were many who were paralyzed. But Jesus comes to the weakest of the weak. The one who's been there for 38 long years waiting for healing. What's the question Jesus asked him? In simple language, would you like to become well? Oh, brothers and sisters. Is this not the question we'd like to hear? The ones who are sick in bed for so many years. Some are spiritually sick. Some are mentally sick. Some are physically sick. And they're waiting in expectation that today, today it might be that I will be healed. The good news is you don't have to go anywhere. 
Jesus comes walking to meet with you. That's good news. Jesus comes to you and me and says, would you like to get well? Let's listen to what the seventh verse says. This man who was waiting in anticipation for 38 years. Let's see what is his reply. The important man answered him, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I'm coming, another steps down before me. He couldn't see Jesus. He thought someone has come to help him. And so he said, sir, I don't have anyone to pick me up and put me in that waters when the waters shake him. And Jesus tells him something. Eighth verse. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. What did Jesus tell him? Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Today he is telling you, you who are sick for so many years. Today he is telling you, rise, take up your bed and walk. Let's see what happened to this person. Did he really walk? 38 years he was crippled. He was not able to move his legs. Ninth verse. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. What do you understand? What do we learn from this? When Jesus speaks a word, there is power that accompanies it. There was power in that word when Jesus said, rise up, take up your bed and walk. When Jesus said that word, there was power in that word that he who was crippled for 38 long years was able to stand up, take up his bed and start walking. Ain't that the good news? In the book of Genesis, it tells us there was darkness on the face of the earth. Genesis 1 says, when there was darkness on the face of the earth, the Lord said, let there be light. And there was light. Today, there might be darkness in your life. There might be sickness in your life. You might be spiritually down. You might be mentally down. You might be emotionally down because of a loss of a near one. But the good news is, Jesus is telling you, today is your time for healing. Rise, take up your bed and walk. And when Jesus gives this command, you will come out of that sickness. Amen. Is that not the good news? But today I'd like to share something which is not shared with us. I want to skip down to the 14th verse. This man did not know who had healed him. There was a group of people who were not happy with his healing. They came to him and said, what are you doing on the Sabbath day? Why are you taking your bed and walking? They couldn't see this man who was crippled for 38 years walking. They should have been rejoicing with him. But they are questioning him. Who made you walk? Why are you walking? And let's see the 14th verse and we close. Afterwards, Jesus finds him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon thee. This man was sick for 38 long years. You know why? Because he was playing around with sin. And so Jesus addresses this issue. Brothers and sisters, today sin is causing a lot of problems in our life. But the good news is, in 1 John 1 9, it says wonderfully, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's the good news. So if there is sin in your life, confess your sin. And Jesus is going to make you whole. So where did he, Jesus meet this man? He was so happy 
that he was healed he went to the temple to give a thank offering to the Lord and there Jesus meets him and Jesus tells him something what did Jesus tell him I'll read it to you once again behold thou art made whole sin no more lest a worse thing come unto thee we get to know from this that this person was crippled for 38 long years because he was delayed dallying with sin oh brothers and sisters we can't play around with sin here Jesus has made this person whole he has given him healing complete healing but Jesus reminds him go and sin no more today Jesus is telling us the same thing rise take up your bed and walk and if there is sin in your life go and sin no more Jesus words have power this words have power he says in John chapter 5 verses 39 such the scriptures in it you can get eternal life in John 17 17 it says sanctify them through the truth thy word is truth yes these words are truth these words have power to change our lives I encourage you keep reading your Bible keep meditating upon it and Jesus you will hear the voice of Jesus say rise up take up your bed and walk because Jesus is interested in healing you a complete healing your physical your spiritual your mental whole healing will take place God bless each and every one of us let's pray father in heaven thank you so much for the message that comes to us today help us that we would not delay dally with sin help us that we would search the scriptures and we will be not just listeners but doers of the word be with each and every one who has been listening attentively to this video presentation bless them guide them and lead them in jesus name we pray amen God bless each and every one of you. I encourage you to watch this video that has come to you. And if you like it, please subscribe for this channel. And also share it with your near and dear ones, especially the ones who are sick, who are going through crisis in their life and they don't know what to do. Give them hope so that they would also meet with Jesus and walk with Jesus. God bless.